Hi guys, this is Pastor Tim, lead pastor here at City Church of the Treasure Coast. As promised, it's time for 7 on the 7 every night right here at our Facebook and eventually on YouTube and Instagram and all those great places. Now, yesterday I talked to you guys about this verse from John chapter 16, verse 33. And what it said is, I've told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. And so yesterday we left Jesus where he was all by himself. A miracle had just happened. The 5,000 had been fed. And Jesus withdrew. He disbanded the band of disciples. And he got all alone with God to do this, to pray, just to pray. Jesus took the time right here on the earth to withdraw from the crowd, from his friends, from his Bible study group, to get alone with God and talk to God. And the key yesterday was that we should do the same. Now, right now, we know many of you are hurting. Many of you are feeling anxiety. Many of you are feeling all alone. And it, it's tough to focus on anything. And we want you to know that during these times, more so than ever, we need God. And that's why we're taking this time every night to say, let's focus back our lives, all of our provision, all of our strength, all of our hope, it is in Jesus. So let's focus it back together. Look, that's what Jesus did when he was on earth. Sometimes we have to get away from people for a little while. Amen? Sometimes we, we have to take the time to get in God's word and to get to know him better. And so Jesus takes the disciples. They didn't want to get away from him. They didn't want to be away from Jesus. They, especially because they were in a boat. They wanted to be with Jesus. He could come in handy when there was a storm around, if you know what I mean. And he made them. The word says that Jesus made them go on ahead of them so that he could make private time to be with the Father. And we see in Matthew uh, 6, 6, further insight into this time of prayer, this personal time of prayer, and how important it is. And in the NIV, it says, but when you pray, Go into your room, close the door, and pray to your Father who is unseen. We're dealing with a lot of unseen things these last few weeks. The word goes on to say, then your Father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. So church, if you want to overcome the anxiety, and if you want to overcome the stress, and if you want to overcome the problems and the storms of this world, and get the reward of God in your life, I don't know about you, but I do. We all, this past week and these few days, we all feel like we are struggling with something that we can't control, that we can't see. When is the, the favor and the blessing of God going to come? His word says that it comes when we get alone with him. So I want to encourage you tonight. Young people, if you're watching this, children, if you're watching this, take some time, even a minute, to get alone with God. Do the same thing in secret when it's unseen that we used to do in services or we used to do out in the open. Now that we're alone and isolated in our houses, even more so, we need to pray. We need to pray. Hey, there was a song that said, you need to pray to make it today. We need to pray to make it every single day. Get alone with the Father and pray. How do I know that you will overcome if you do this? Because to overcome is a gift from God, a reward, you might say. And the word of God just told us, Jesus just said to us, that if you close the door and you pray and you get alone, you will get the reward. Talk about a bonus. Anybody want to be rewarded by God today? Anybody want healing today? Anybody want to see the peace of God, Jehovah Shalom, flow into our life? Get alone with God. Get alone with God. See, the problem is we've been alone with everything else. We've been alone with statistics and we've been alone with reading and television and charts we need to get alone with God. Jesus did it. He told us to do it. That settles it. So how do we overcome? How do we overcome by getting alone with God? Now, let's see how the disciples are doing because Jesus is setting the example. But in Matthew 14, verse 24, it says, And the boat was already a considerable distance from land, battered or buffeted by the waves because the wind was against it. So while Jesus is getting alone, with the Father and living and walking in the peace of the Father, the disciples are in trouble. And that's what we're experiencing today, church. There are those in crisis all over the world. We need to pray for them. 
There are those in our city and in our county and in our state and in our world and in our country that are in trouble. And we need to pray for them. And here's what happens. Here's what Jesus does. Because the guys start to get scared. It says they are a great or considerable distance from shore. Um, just so we know that it's not a, a trick, we will see that the word says in verse 25, shortly before dawn, Jesus went out to them walking on the lake. So Jesus got alone with God. He prayed all night long. And then he literally walks on water the night after doing that. Church, we need a miracle in our country. We need a miracle with what we're facing with COVID-19. We need the God that walks on the water to come and help us when we're in the storm, to come and find us and wrap his arms around us and say, it's going to be all right. I know the waves are tall. I know the waves look impossible. I, I, I know that you've been beaten and battered by every news report and beaten and battered by family members who are sick and beaten and battered by the kids being out of school and your, your, your retirement portfolio plummeting. I know, but seek me. I'm coming for you. Jesus will walk on the water today, walk into your life. And we'll talk about in some days to come what happens after this is also Pastor G and Heather and Pastor Alex will all be sharing and encouraged. But we want to stop here tonight to say, no matter how rough the waves are, no matter how bad it looks, who of you by worrying can add a single hour to your life? His peace he gives us. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. Church, let's pray tonight as we close out our time. Will you reach out your hands? And will you just pray with me right where you're at? Maybe we can't touch each other physically, but we can, we can touch in the spirit. We can touch in a real way tonight as we pray to close out this time. And if you're a kid right now sitting with your parents, I want you to put your arm around them or reach out, put your hand on their shoulder. Maybe you're a teenager. Just let them know you love them right here in this moment. Your mom, your dad, your stepmom, your foster dad, whatever it is. Let's pray. Lord, tonight, tonight we need you to walk on the water, God. We need to get alone with you away from the distractions. We need, Lord, for the reward to flow into our life, for the freedom to flow. And so we ask, Lord, that in this storm, in this time of storm, that you would walk in, that you would flow in, that you would show up and speak peace and calm the waves and bring healing, Lord. Heal our country, heal our state, heal our world, Lord. Push back the effects of this vibrant of COVID-19 so that we, Lord, can press into your presence again as a family and as the body of Christ and so that we can see your word, your salvation, and your provision come to this world that is dying to know you, Lord. As we head towards Easter, Father, we pray that you would use what the devil meant to destroy and to bring death to bring life and to rebuild. And we thank you in advance for it in Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, today is the day, seven on the seven. And I wanna encourage you, stay in the word, stay prayed up. It's a miracle what God's done. We have now a live streaming studio overnight that God has provided. And we want you to know wherever you're at, you are not alone. We love you, we're praying for you, and more importantly, God loves you. He gave his life for you. He will walk on the water to come to where you are to embrace you and bring life. We believe it, and we love you. We'll talk to you guys soon, 7 on the 7.